Welcome back to the OTC Medicine Safety Video Tutorial Series. As you know by now, my name is Mel. This video will go over Lesson 2, Reading and Understanding the Drug Facts Label. Before we begin, visit scholastic.com slash OTC Med Safety and print the Lesson 2 materials so you can follow along. Go ahead and pause the video so you can take care of that. I'll wait for you. Welcome back. Do you have your Lesson 2 materials in front of you? Great, let's start by going over some pro tips that will help you prepare for teaching the lesson. Hold a debrief session after you teach lesson one to review how it went. Ask yourselves, what went well? What could be improved? Ask your adult advisor or the teacher for feedback on your presentation. Download the printable outline of the lesson plan and review the materials list. Brainstorm ways to make this lesson fun and engaging. Consider bringing incentives, like candy, for students who are most engaged. But don't forget to ask the teacher beforehand if this is okay. Rehearse every lesson before going into the classroom. This will build your confidence and ensure you are comfortable with the content you are delivering. Now let's review the objectives of lesson two. They are identify the drug facts label, learn definitions of terms, Know the importance of reading and understanding all of the information on the drug facts label. Learn the potential consequences of not reading and understanding all of the information. Identify the steps to take in the event of a medicine mistake. Let's take a look at the lesson plan created to fit two 40-minute class periods. Be sure to schedule double the time for this lesson. Remember, before every lesson, Remind the students that they should never take medicine without the supervision of a parent or a trusted adult. As in the last video, you can do this in creative ways, including the call and response technique. When do we ask a parent or guardian before taking medication? Every time, all the time. Begin the discussion by challenging students to focus on the overall importance of reading directions. Ask what could happen if you only read part of the directions on a test. Discuss responses and begin to link the importance of reading information text to understanding key information or directions vital to completing a task properly or getting the desired results. Explain that all directions are not the same. Sometimes, the directions on the drug facts label won't appear at the top of the page like on the test. You may have to look for them, and you should always ask your teacher, parent, or trusted adult to clarify them. Explain that the class is going to learn about the importance of reading and following all of the instructions found on the drug facts label of OTC medicines. Organize the class into groups of five or six students and give one medicine container to each group. Then you'll distribute student worksheet two. Show the FDA's medicine in my home video. Ever wonder how your mom knows what medicine to give you when you're not feeling well? And pause it when necessary to highlight the different sections on the drug facts label and have students ask questions. In support of the video, have students look closely at the medicine samples they have in their groups. Before beginning the worksheet activity, ask students, which medicine does your group have? Where are the directions on medicines? And what do they tell you? Where are the warnings? Where is the ingredient section? Directions and drug information for OTC medicines are found on the drug facts labels per FDA regulation. Walk students through each section of the labels on the worksheet. Create a vocabulary list to reinforce new terms, explaining that these terms provide us with the information we need to use medicine responsibly. If you are using a whiteboard, project the image of the drug facts label onto the board. Review the different sections of the label, use the classroom poster to support the discussion, and reinforce the new vocabulary words. Some vocabulary words to consider are active ingredients, the ingredients in the medicine that make it work. Warnings. Safety information, including side effects, the questions you should ask a doctor before taking the medicine, and which medicines to avoid taking at the same time. Other information. How to store the medicine. Uses. Describes the symptoms that the medicine treats. Directions. Indicates the amount or dose of medicine to take, how often to take it, and how much you can take in a day inactive ingredients. Ingredients not intended to treat your symptoms, for example, preservatives, flavorings. Questions or comments. Call the company if you have questions about a specific medicine. Add the new terms to the whiteboard as you review each and discuss the definitions. 
have students refer to their medicine containers to reinforce these terms. You may also link the label to bmedwise.org slash label slash label dot htm. If students need more practice with reading drug facts labels on different medicines, provide an assortment of empty medicine bottles, bags, or boxes in the following scavenger hunt activity found on the Scholastic website. Explain to students that when medicines are not used properly, real consequences, including serious harm, may result. Reinforce the importance of always communicating with a trusted adult before taking any medicine. Remember, every time, all the time. The consequences of using medicine improperly can include Ingredients may cause allergic reactions. Medicines can be harmful if you take too much and may not be effective if you do not take the proper dose. Certain medicines can interact with other medicines and may cause side effects or harm when mixed. Many medicines contain the same active ingredients and should never be taken at the same time. Discuss how to use the poison help number 1-800-222-1222. This number should be used if a student or his or her parent or a trusted adult has questions about how to take or give medicine. If there's been a medicine mistake, or if there's been an accidental ingestion of medicine. Inform students of the following. Calls are free. Calls are confidential, meaning the information you share will be kept private. Experts answer the phone 24-7, 365 days a year. Unlike 911, it doesn't have to be an emergency to call. Call with questions or for information, or if you have an emergency. Poison Center experts get more than 3 million calls a year about all kinds of things. They have heard everything, so don't be embarrassed to call. An option at the end of the class is to provide a research extension that the students can complete before the next class. Offer the following prompt. Research indicates that required drug facts labels to appear on OTC medicines. Write a paragraph to describe the regulation and identify some of the problems that it helped to address. After exploring the drug facts label, its purpose, the components of the label, why your students and their families should be familiar with it, be sure to send home the family newsletter resource available in the family section at scholastic.com slash OTC med safety slash parents so students may continue the conversation at home. Encourage students to read the digital storybook, The Perfect Project. Discuss what they have learned about the poison help number, to post the number in a visible place in their home, and to get family members to save the number in their mobile phones. Be sure to congratulate the class on working hard on this lesson. Thanks for watching this video. Join me for the next video in this tutorial series where we will review a broader, more expansive lesson about the measuring tools, storage, and disposal in lesson three of the OTC Medicine Safety Program.